There's a report just a bit old and wide of the bed Standing on a mesquite tree Now one goes to Texas, he keeps on playing hide and seek And out of the sun, he's sweating that pen But his work's never done I don't know, got them cats And a top game, so old and just a steam Crazy play of enchiladas, lots of cheese and apples. A lot of money to sell it, you can give them half the LaSalle Hotel in old man town. With eyes, tin wiggles, and they'll smile every time. Yes, she will. I'll have to go to tell. I might take down a bill, so poor as the pilots walk in on the main street, Texas. Ain't never seen a hurt of the day The teen on an exit for that 62 poster The sign was put it down And a screen without a picture The search giant came to town I know I know Oh, this song my friend Lalo Porch of my house on Church Street. Across from the Presbyterian Church. Which could mean that I was predestined to be here tonight. This house is also located directly behind the Dixie Chicken. which is a beer joint where students used to go to relax after a hard day of taking classes. I went there to relax after a hard day of skipping classes. You know that dream where you uh, have signed up for a class and you wake up on the day of the final and realize you've never been to one single class of class that you signed up for. You've had that dream, right? I know I know. I had that dream where I signed up for an entire semester of classes. And I wake up on the final day and actually realize that it's not a dream at all. I haven't been to one class. And they sent me a little pink slip, which is sort of like a pink slip that you get from a job, you know? Except for it just means that you're not gonna go back to school for a little while. Everybody needs a break, right? I came up here many years ago at the request of my friend Rick Friedman who invited me up here. And we uh, came to see some songwriters uh, play. Uh, this other songwriter, Butch Hancock, and I were the uh, judges at this songwriter competition. And you have to understand, I'd only written a handful of songs myself. I really wasn't qualified, but I sat there in a full-length silk black robe with a white shirt and a black tie. Made myself look as judge-like as I possibly could. I sat there next to Butch who was wearing cutoffs and some of those thongs that you can't even find anymore because they all disintegrated from the planet about five years after they made them. And we watched about 25 or so songwriters sing their hearts out in front of us. It was, it was agonizing. But I was trying to take my job very seriously and I was writing down little things like good melody, nice hook, good singing, great guitar playing, could use some work on the bridge, you know, that sort of thing. And I looked over there at my friend Butch and he had these numbers. He had this number system. It had like 8, 15, 720, 2012, 
And then, next to one person's name, he had the infinity sign. And I said, what's going on with your number system there, Butch? He says, I'm writing down how many songs it's going to take for this person to write a good one. I really felt badly for the person who had the infinity sign next to him there. I just written needs help on the bridge. You know? The rest of this song is about my landlord, Mr. Jack Boyette. He used to pull up in the heat of the day and roll down the window just enough to be heard and not enough letting the air conditioning escape. And he would holler out. Robert King, Robert King. Can you come help me for a minute? I just made that part up because I like saying my name so much. And I would jump in his truck and we'd go south of town to his ranch where he'd fix his barbed wire fences, feed his crowbait horses, stand out in the middle of the pasture and count his Burford Cross cattle. I never had the courage to ask him what it crossed him with, but I went to an agricultural college and I knew for damn sure he didn't cross them with other cows. <laughs> And afterwards, we'd go in his house and sit in his little kitchenette. His wife would fix us a fermented cheese sandwich. We would hold hands and say grace, and then she would split that sandwich three ways. And afterwards, he'd look up at me and he'd say, I got something for you, Robert Key, Robert Key. It has a ring to it, you know, I have to say. He'd reach in his pocket and pull out a ragged old check. And he'd put my name in the pay the order section. Then he'd write in the payment section, he'd write $2. Then <laughs> he'd hand it to me and he asked me, Is that enough, Rob Key? <laughs> well, what could I do? I was a young man. I didn't want to be rude, I didn't want to embarrass him, but I didn't want to tell him how humiliating it was to stand across from that little beautiful blue-eyed, blonde-haired teller girl at the college station state bank. And slide that two dollar check over to her and ask her, can you cash this mint? And her look back up at me with that look that I've seen in so many women's eyes ever since. That look that says, you are the biggest loser that I have seen in the same time. But I found out that cashing a check for two dollars is not such a bad thing. It's just like doing anything else that you're a little bit ashamed of. You know what I'm talking about. Once you do it once, you'll do it again and again and again and again. This old poor just a weather gray head set of the years of Texas. He's doing all he can not to give it to the city. He always takes you real late. So long as I run his cattle, he picks me up at dinner time. I listen to him rattle. He says the bright still runs, but he likes to run all along. Ain't never been on candy ground. The guns all but gone. You know that Chevrolet pickup truck? Yeah, she sunk back in 60. No one won't nobody listen to Cause they all think it's crazy It's all for just a long time Waiting and forgetting Remembering the coming back My crying about the bleeding And remembering the falling down The laughter The curse of love from all the sons of bitches You said we never get back
There's some more just a big old red and white urban bull standing under a mesquite tree. I'm not with those in his keys, so I'm playing hide and seek that. Hot out of the sun, he's sweating in a pan. There's a word he's never done. I know the whole lot of old boys in my life, but their work is never done.